So if it says to solve it algebraically, that means to use either the substitution or the elimination method. So looking at this first one, there really isn't a clear-cut best option. Um, I would actually get the first equation rewritten so that it's in terms of either x or y. It's almost there because you got a negative 1x and a positive 1y, but neither one's by itself and neither one's just, well, the positive 1y is not by itself and the negative 1x is not positive. So either way, we got to do a little bit of work here. So I'm going to move the 10 to the other side. That way I have negative 1x plus 10 equaling 1y. And that's just y, or 1y, same thing. So this is great for substitution. Just make sure when you do this, you plug it back into the other equation. Don't plug it back into itself, because then you're going to get infinite solutions. Any line is always equal to itself. So this was from the first equation, so we're going to plug this in for y in the second equation. That's going to go in for substitution here. So negative 4x plus 2 times the y thing equals negative 10. And we'll just solve for x. So multiply the 2 in. Negative 2x plus 20 equaling negative 10. Combining our x's gives us negative 6 plus 20 equals negative 10. Solving for x gets you negative 30, negative 6x, and eventually we get to 5 following those steps. So we want to get y by, or we want to get y once we have x. I'm going to use the new equation over here. So negative 1 times our x plus 10. That's our y. So negative 5 plus 10, which is 5. So that is y. So actually, in this case, it's 5, 5. They're both 5. That's our solution to this system using substitution. So if I picked substitution for this one, let's use elimination for the next one. So similarly, the first equation is not lined up for elimination, and it's not good for substitution yet either. Um, I'm going to move some things around in order to get it in a way that looks like, like the bottom one. X's, Y's equals numbers. So let's take the negative 3X equals negative 11 minus 4Y. I want to get the Y's to inside with the X's. So I'm going to add the Y's over using the inverse operation since it's being subtracted. So negative 3X plus 4Y equals negative 11. This is the first equation, just rewritten. Taking the second equation and putting it underneath, I want to get opposites next. So, no opposites right away, but I could multiply the whole bottom one by a negative one, and that would produce an opposite. That would be 3x plus y equals 31. And then negative 3x plus 4y is negative 11. And if I add those two, the x's are going to drop out. And we get 5y equals 20. So if 5y is 20, then y is divided by 5, 4. Then next, we just got to find x. So plug back into either equation. I'm going to use the top one. So negative 3x equals negative 11 minus 4 times 4. So negative 3x equals negative 11 minus 16. Negative 3x is going to equal negative 27. Divide both sides by negative 3 and we get x equals 9. So our coordinate is always x then y, 9, 4. Even though we found the y first, it's still always x and then y. That's how we use this elimination there to solve the system algebraically.